It's Feb, the month of love. It's famously known as the month of Valentine's, as Valentine's Day falls in the very month. Well, here at Travel with Enoch and Jackie, we shall spend a whole month sharing different ideas and activities on how to renew your love life. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Travel with Enoch and Jackie. Last week on Travel with Enoch and Jackie, we took you on a room tour at Sleek and Slender. We brought you steps on how to save a drowning person. We had a conversation with a wellness and fitness coach. And we hung out at a nutrition bar. This week, we take you on a room tour at Bush Baby Lodge. We go chasing sunsets on Banda Hill. And we dine under the African night sky. Thank you for watching Magic One TV. Travel with Enoch and Jackie runs every Wednesday at 8.30 and repeats on Sunday at 5 p.m. You can also catch the show online on our YouTube channel, Enoch and Jackie. Please don't forget to subscribe while there. My name is Enoch in Subuga, and the fun starts right now. Bush Baby Lodge is located on a family-run farm and offers comfortable accommodation, dining and recreational facilities with 10 rooms which can be outfitted with single, double or bank beds depending on the guest's needs. All these rooms have answered bathrooms with showers and hot water. Here's a room tour by yours truly. Aha! Uh -huh. It's been a while since we've got you seeing rustic contemporary Africanized spaces mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and today we are in Mukono yes at a place called Bush Baby Bush Baby I love the name so the moment I walked in mm -hmm. the thing I spotted that I love the most is the use of color okay. the entire room is white the beauty with using all white in a space is it makes the room look really big and it brings in a lot of lights as soon as you walk in at the entryway there's this hook that Enoch loved very much he was able to put his jumper right on one of those hooks and as you walk in still at the entryway we have that little shelf very cute the way the bed is made it's a custom made bed clearly when i look at it it doesn't have the traditional headboard that comes with a bed looking a particular way so it allows the curtains on the other side to make the white bed the headboard with the white curtains to just match and also the other thing that i love 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 about this room on the bed he loves the white on the bed i love the bed scarf are uh, at the end of the bed so at the foot of the bed, we have this nice African runner that is really cute. You can call it a throw, whatever it is you want to call it. But it has add a lot of class and style and character. I love the fabric on the curtains. It's linen. They're very clean. And I also love the bulb in here, the lampshade. It's, it's really cute. It's simple. This room being practically all white, there was a smart way to bring in color. These art pieces, they're just three. I always tell you there's power in three. One big one and then two complementary ones. The two small ones and the big one in the middle gives it balance. But also now we tap into the color orange. We still see the browns and uh, yeah, in there. And the different colors in these art pieces that bring life and character to this room. I also love the tile on the floor. It's mm. cute, it's just calm. Simple. It's, it's simple, yes. Yeah. And then finally, I think the best, 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 best part of this room. Mm. Clearly, this toilet has a beautiful shape. And then beside it, on the tower, on the towel holder, you have the white towels. They mm. still keep the white theme going in the bathroom. And then the most important thing in this bathroom. It's the tile, it's called a backsplash. It has orange, it has different, like it, it's a, it makes you see patterns. Yeah. So that is a backsplash and it's a very cool way to show class, style and elegance. This room is spacious, there's not too much, there's a simple mirror, there's a simple white sink and then the backsplash does all the talking and the shape of the toilet and that's it. You can't beat that. Simple is everything, simplicity speaks a lot of stuff, but this room was 
the style you can call boho you can call rustic but it's minimalist it's contemporary it's a mix of ideas when you walk in it's very modern but simple lovely place isn't it still to come our travel experience of the week our swimming tip the people we meet and our top place to eat this week ever bothered watching the sunset one ribbon at a time the beauty of sunsets have inspired people and their creations for centuries photographers for example often wait for the perfect moment when they can capture the glory of the setting sun. But even the best photographers will never capture the effect a beautiful sunset has on one's emotions. Even in the movies and on TV shows, you will notice that a lot of crucial moments are filmed with a stunning sunset in the background. It completely changes the mood. From a boring scene, the sunset makes the scene and everything dramatic. Well, during our recent road trip to Bush Baby Lodge, a private family-run farm set in Makono, we were interested in the idea of chasing the sunset. This is an actual activity by the Bush Baby Lodge where guests take a hike to Banda Hill, a six kilometer round trip from the lodge to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Mukono's countryside. While there, we sipped away on wine as we watched the sunset, one ribbon at a time. Such a thrilling activity that we would recommend for anyone trying to renew their love life. Welcome to our weekly swimming tip. These are tips and tricks for beginners learning to swim. Last week, we learned how to float in water. This week, we learned how to open our eyes underwater. With your face in the water, gradually open your eyes, squinting at first and then opening them fully. Close your eyes again as soon as they start to sting. Repeat a few times until you can open your eyes confidently. This is another water confidence building tip and here's a demonstration from yours truly. Hello, this is Hubbard and your swimming tip for this week is learning how to open your eyes underwater, which is still under confidence building because you have to know your surroundings when you're inside the water to get that phobia out of you. It helps you to fasten up your swimming for the beginners. A beautiful guest of the week, given us the experience this week, is Lorraine Bainer. Uh, like she mentioned, my name is Lorraine Bainer. I'm the operations manager at Slick and Slender. Slick and Slender is a fitness center where we deal with all sorts of fitness, all sorts of wellness, from nutrition to exercises to even mindset changes, attitude mm -hmm. changes, mm. stress management, etc. You mentioned stress. Yes. Stress can be managed like by just yes. visiting a wellness yes. center? Yes, stress oh. can be managed. Oh. I mean, you know, stress comes from the work we do, mm -hmm. from the relationships we have. Relationships. <laughs> you know, I'm a love coach. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so you find yourself the, all the time you're putting in, putting in, putting in all these stresses, but you have nowhere to release. release. Mm -hmm. So the wellness center helps you release through exercises mm -hmm. and then even when you eat well the foods that you eat help you manage your hormones help you manage your your mm. feel good uh, hormones so mm. it re there's a big switch when it comes to stress management today i think we're going to particularly be talking about our Seragem thermal massage bed what does it do so first of all when you lie on the bed it measures the length of your spine from the bottom of your skull to the lower to your lower back um, and with that way, it tailors a massage for you. Mm. So it can tell where the problem areas are on your spine. And you might wonder, why, why do you think I have a problem in my spine? You might not even know no. that you have, but we sit the whole day working on our desks. You sit in the car to drive home. You sit and watch TV while you eat. You probably go out with your friends and sit and still be basically sitting and putting pressure on your spine. So. It, the pain you can start having a dull pain or sometimes when you bend and pick something you just hear you know 
and people just brush it off but problems start from when your back is not well because your spine carries you the nerves coming from your brain connect to your spine so there's a lot of communication that comes when your back is not well mm. you know you're sitting there. posture so, uh, even your posture which is very important mm. so the Sarajem thermal massage helps to rectify these problems that we go through every single day the heat that comes from the, the bed gives pressure on you it's like you know though you can iron your clothes and it straightens the clothes that's the exact same thing that the surgeon so i just on. find myself sitting right you'll even fall asleep when <laughs> i'm doing the tv show uh -huh. i sit right without yeah, anyone you, telling me yes. when my producer bill doesn't have to say your sit, sitting uh -huh. posture sits straight and, but you have to do it uh, continuously in uh -huh. order to be able to recover your spine amazing mm. so let's test out that machine you just yes. said it all that i have nothing else to ask mm. i have understood yes. it it's like a real workout it's like someone is like over doing watch to me but i feel even my lower abdomen is already like mm? what do i describe like I, like i've been doing over sit-ups eh? but it's a good feeling there's music i don't know if you can hear it there's some cast of music i feel like i'm asleep now the rollers like something right now is rolling like up down like in this part for now so this machine comes it, i felt it up to my neck it goes by the butt no wonder they call these things stoning tables it goes by the butt goes down but this one you real i real feel like um okay in the beginning it feels like it's just fun then after that it's like like the pressure becomes real serious so right now it's in a pause mode but this is the second time so what i learned from my first break when it pauses it's like finding my next week points that need more pressure so yeah that's how the machine does i hope that you enjoyed this session the surgeon thermal massage bed located within a private family run farm bush baby lodge is set in mukono and offers themed dinners ideal for weddings and other special occasions especially during this month of love feb one such themed dinner is the bush themed dinner which presents guests the opportunity to dine under the Africa night sky. We had a chance to experience this type of dining, something that we would like to recommend for anyone trying to rekindle their love life in this month of fave, the month of love. Watch. Today's top place to eat this Valentine's week is the Bush Baby Lodge. And before I tell you details about the Bush Baby Lodge, I'll first introduce my host, Chef Hakim, who is taking us to China for Valentine's. Hello, Chef. Hello. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you doing? Hello, viewers. I'm Chef Hakim. I'm going to take you through Chinese chicken fried rice here at Bush Baby Lodge. So we have chicken fried rice, yes, we have stir fried pork, yeah. we have lioness potatoes. potatoes. Okay, so we're starting with uh, chicken fried rice. Chicken okay. fried rice. Let's okay. rock. Shall we get our oil? Mm -hmm. This is oil. Uh -huh. Okay, oil. Then we shall go with our bits garlic. of garlic. Okay, garlic. Okay. Then uh -huh. we shall go with our onions. Okay. With our carrots. Carrots. Uh huh. So that's chicken. This is chicken. Mm hmm. Shredded, right? Shredded chicken. Shredded chicken. Yeah. We shall go with our sweet pepper. Okay. Or capsicum. Which one is that? Okay. Commonly known as green, green pepper. pepper. Yes, I have please. a name. Come. Come, <laughs> <Hi>, capsicum. <laughs> <laughs> but don't go to the market and ask for capsicum. They'll tell you to do Molina. Yeah, but green it, paper. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. It's time for our rice now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So rice, you see? At least I touched the bar well. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> then we shall go with our bits of soy sauce. Okay. Of course, it's a light. bit brown, right? Yes, please. Hey, you see me? The chef in me is out. Mm, little like Just that. Little like that. So that's for the color, right? Uh -huh. Also tasty. Oh, even the taste now, changes. If you go for them, mm -hmm. the light one mm -hmm. is always salty. So this is the light one. Light one, yeah. salty. Mm -hmm. Then the dark one, mm -hmm. it's usually thick. Mm -hmm. like, for color. Uh, yeah. Then mm -hmm. we've got our mushroom gravy here. Mm -hmm. 
also mm -hmm. freshly made. Okay, from here. Yes, please. From bush baby. Bush baby. Mm -hmm. Chinese chicken mm -hmm. fried rice. rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what else do you need then me we've to got send? Some fresh herbs here. Okay. For garnishing. For garnishing. Okay. Also, <laughs> if you follow the this chef in May. fresh organic. Mm -hmm. Greens, mm -hmm. they for cannot. instance, the parsley, mm -hmm. it helps to prevent or to cure some diseases. Mm. Yeah, that's why it's here well in Bush Baby, eating for health. we always get them from our Gardens. kitchen garden near yeah. here. Yeah, okay, okay. Have you seen the color I told you. running away from golden brown to darkish? Mm. Let's correct the seasoning. Mm -hmm. So in we are now kitchen, correcting. Now we call this correcting the seasoning. What do we mean by correcting? Was it wrong? Instead of doing this, eh. now here in the kitchen we say, you correct the season. Eh. At first we seasoned. Mm -hmm. Now, so this was kevera seasoning. Eh. Uh -huh. you correcting? Yes, please. Kati you correcting In the siku ombieko, na yu kusinzira vye ntademu. Omanyi. Mbera ntege denti kati yogugu komi ono, yogugu komi ono. Kati kano konge demu ko. Aha. Kati tugena kuleta enyanya za fe, embisi. Eh, tucha ateka mwebidungu. Ezo zo zijamu at the end. Uh, because it's healthy mm. to get Nyanyazizi cooked no food chef. mixed with the raw vegetables. Mm. Yes. Enyanyazizi. Uh -huh. Nyanyambisi uh -huh. does not only apply for raw legs. <laughs> Just like this. Our chicken fried rice is it's ready. ready. Yes, And please. it is Chinese, by yes, the way. Please, please note. You were saying, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Chinese chicken fried rice. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so the next dish. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is uh, the Valentine, the Bush Baby signature Valentine's fish. fish. It's a Valentine special. Now we are going to present our fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! Wow. It came as it was. Mm -hmm. We lost nothing. Now we shall use mm. our chopped parsley. To garnish. To garnish our plate. Mm. We get some paprika. Mm -hmm. It's not hot. Mm. It's friendly. Because you know when you see this, you uh -huh. think it's chili. We are trying to balance the color mm. of our plate. Uh -huh. Valentine's Day. Bush now, baby Valentine's signature fish. Again, we bring our vegetable. Mm -hmm. In a bush baby, we call it vegetable bundle. Mm. Yes, see the please. vegetable bundle? Yeah. This is carrots, French beans, mm -hmm. and onion, right? Our fish is done. So it's time to taste. This is my favorite part of the show when the food is ready and I have to taste and tell you what it tastes like. Chef Hakim went all in. I can taste all the flavors in here. It's rare for you to eat fish and feel the, the spices in, but I can. I don't know how to do justice to the taste, but it's nice. It feels, it tastes like the, it tastes like this tangerine, like this of a was like, oh, how does your Chinese rice, chicken fried rice taste with, like? With my shredded chicken, mm. very tender. And you know that you love the taste. Well spiced. Mm. <laughs> and you know you love that taste. And I know I love the taste. That's what's up. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for watching. This is Travel with Inok and Jackie at Top Place to Eat this week. Special thanks to our hosts at the Bush Baby Lodge and this amazing dish, specifically this Valentine's signature fish. Amazing, isn't it? Thanks for watching and special thanks to Africa Runners, our transport partners, Syncup Media, our production house, Bush Baby Lodge, thanks for hosting us, Makizito Uganda, our logistics partners, and the Val Guide. For more travel content, please visit our travel website www.valguide.co.za. Cheers and see you next week on the same channel.